Today we will be looking at the basic configuration of the firewall. This will cover changing the default password, how to assign static IPs via DHCP, and how to add port forwarding for devices such as Slingbox and Xbox 360 or the Back to My Mac service. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser and log into our Monowall firewall. Uh, the IP address was still the same default, which is 192.168.1.1. It'll ask you for your username and password. So once you're logged in, this is what you'll see on the screen. The first thing we're going to do is change the password. And you can find that underneath the system section under general setup. So we'll click on that. And we'll go down to password. And we'll change the password. It's always a good practice for passwords to add uh, numbers and special characters such as ampersands or tildes or exclamation points just to make it a little difficult for people to try to um, hack into your firewall or brute force the password uh, to your firewall. The other thing you're going to want to try is uh, do is is change your time zone uh, to where you actually live. This way if you have to go into your logs um, and you're looking for a, sp a particular event or a time where something should have happened or happened um, you'll be able to find it. You won't be off with your time. So just open the drop down and pick wherever it is that you're living. Once you've made those changes, click on save. And it will ask you to uh, log back in again with the new password. In my case, it's the same password that I've had before. So it won't ask me to uh, log back in. So once you've made these changes, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is, um, and I'm going to show you how to do static IPs via DACP. The reason that you want to do that is if you have any type of device such as a Slingbox or an Xbox 360 is that uh, those devices have to be um, addressed from the outside world, the internet, um, through your firewall to your internal network. And the way that works is the firewall does something called uh, uh, port forwarding. And when you do port forwarding, you're basically telling the firewall anything that comes uh, to this firewall on my external address on this particular port, I want you to forward that information to this device on my internal network at this IP address and that same port number. So it's very important that that IP address never change. And a DHCP server, every time a device uh, asks for an IP address, uh, there's always a chance that that IP uh, address will change for that device. So you want to make sure that it always remains the same when it requests that uh, change or that IP address. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the um, DHCP server and we're going to um, add a reservation. It's also very important to remember what your uh, range is being given out of IPs from your DHCP server. In our case you can see here it's 100 to 199. Uh, the IP address that we're going to give out that static has to be either below this range or above this range. Okay, so we're going to go to add a reservation and we're going to add a MAC address. On devices like a Slingbox or a 360, you should see in the back of the unit, it should say what the, uh, the MAC address is. And some of those devices, even when you're using them, will show you what that, IP, what that MAC address is. In the Xbox 360, you can go to your system blade under network and it'll show you what that MAC address is. So what we're going to do is on our MAC here, we're going to go to system preferences. We're going to go to network. And we're going to, in my case, I'm going to Ethernet 2. That's where I have plugged directly to my firewall. And we're going to go to Advanced. Underneath Advanced, we're going to go to the Ethernet uh, section. And this Ethernet ID is our MAC address. So we're going to jot down this information. We'll cancel out of this. And we will close this. And we'll enter in that MAC address that we just came up with or for whatever device that you're doing and we'll enter it in and we'll give it an I address and in this case I'm going to give it uh, 200 so it'll be 192.168.1.200 which is outside of the range that the uh, DHCP server is giving uh, to devices that request it and we're going to give it a description so we know what it is in the future if we're looking at it so this is a Mac Pro and we'll click on save okay now that's been saved, and in order for that to take effect, we have to apply the changes. I'm going to give you a word of warning. On this particular uh, version of Monowall, there is a bug. Um, we're not using IP uh, version 6, 
but you're going to see an error about it. Just ignore it when it comes up. It'll be fixed in the next version of Monowall that comes out. So we'll apply the changes, and there goes the error. And don't worry about that error, just ignore it. All right, um, one of the other things that you have to do is, uh, with this error that comes up, this bug, is you need to uh, reboot the firewall for the changes to take effect. So we'll go down to Diagnostics, and we'll go to Reboot the System. And you should run Reboot, and we'll click on Yes. Go back and log it back into the firewall. Okay, now that we're logged back in, um, and we go back to the DHCP server, you'll see the reservations here. If we go back to System Preferences, and go to Network, and go to Ethernet 2, Ethernet 2, you notice that it changed to the 200 that we assigned to it. Uh, it'll do the same thing to the other devices that you've uh, associated to the address. So in this case, it's 200. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show how to do port forwarding. And in this case, we're going to make believe we're going to do port forwarding for like a sling box. So we're going to go to our firewall, and we're going to go to NAT, which is Network Address Translation and we're going to go to um, the inbound and we're going to add okay and what it's going to do is it's going to say is we're looking for traffic that's coming in on the interface which is the WAN port and the external address is the interface address for the WAN port so we'll leave that alone there's no need to ever change that and the protocol depends on what type of service is coming across um, you'll know that by uh, looking at the reference mater material for the particular device, whether it be the Xbox 360 or Slingbox or uh, Back to My Mac service, or you can go to the manufacturer's website and look at um, the firewall ports that need to be open uh, for a particular device. Uh, for Slingbox, it's TCP IP and it's address 5001. That's the default. So we'll select TCP IP and we'll put in 5001 from the front end 2 and the IP address is the IP address that we set up that was static for the device I'm just going to put the IP address in for the Mac Pro just an ex as an example but you would enter in the IP address of whatever you assigned to that particular device and the port that it's going to go to. So we're going to do the same port. It wants to talk on 5001. So we'll type that in. And we'll put a description. And we'll say this is um, port forwarding. Five thousand and one for Slingbox. Another thing you want to do is you want to click on the auto add a firewall rule. Uh, what this will do is it adds in the uh, port forwarding rule and at the same time opens a hole in the firewall at this, uh, for that traffic. Uh, otherwise, if you don't do this, the next step you'd have to do is you have to go to the firewall and allow that traffic from 5001 to come into that uh, internal IP address. And we'll click on save. And we'll click on apply changes. Okay, that's been added. So, if you went to your firewall rules right now, you'll see that you have the traffic, a rule for the traffic to be allowed through. So basically it says any traffic coming in from anywhere, any, any source or on any port, to this destination, which is your internal IP address on this port, uh, allow that traffic through. And that really is all there is uh, for port forwarding. Uh, you would just keep doing this for every device that you're going to use, whether it be a PS3, an Xbox 360, um, back to my Mac service. Um, I'll also try to put a short list of um, ports for popular items uh, and with, along with the notes for this particular segment. Uh, make it a little bit easier for some of you. Uh, if it's not there, just Google it. You know, just Google firewall ports and the device that you're using, and you should find a slew of different sites that are giving that information out. Uh, see you at the next segment. Ciao.